welcome to another episode of Vintage Yamaha Restoration. Um, it is a beautiful day out. It is supposed to be 81 degrees today in South Bend, Indiana. Uh, for April, that's unheard of. Um, if you're like me, uh, you may have uh, received a motorcycle through a gift or you bought it on Facebook or something like that. Um, and many times when we rescue these motorcycles, uh, they come without keys. Um, so then what do you do? Well, uh, this little video is going to be, um, I wouldn't say a tutorial, but kind of a journey uh, to find out how to replace the ignition module uh, in a 1981 Yamaha XS850. I'm not a professional, I just play one on YouTube. Uh, so uh, if you find any information that's on here that is inaccurate i apologize or if there's a better way that you know to do it please feel free to pop it in the comments below i'm kind of just winging this that's kind of how i am and how i go if you've watched my channel and if you haven't watched my channel then i encourage you to go ahead and uh, take a little bit of time to look through my other videos and check them out if you like it i uh, give like and subscribe and write some comments i really would appreciate it so uh, let's get into uh, what needs to be done in order to swap out this ignition module, shall we? So guys, a few uh, tools that you'll need for this job. You'll need a 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket. This is for taking the headlight a bucket off of the mount. A 3H drive ratchet as well. You will need a, um, or at least I used, quarter inch drive ratchet with a quarter inch socket with a JIS bit on it. It looks like a Phillips bit, except it's flat on top. You may be able to use just a big Phillips bit, or if you don't have a JIS bit, you can always kind of grind down the tip of an old bit that you have and turn it into one. Um, you are also going to want to use a 10 millimeter. Uh, the 10 millimeter socket is what you're going to use to actually take the ignition module off of the uh, mounting. Um, this is used to take the uh, bottom screw out of the headlight bezel. It kind of tilts it. Um, and then also because I did a little bit extra on this video, you're going to want a little bit of quadruple ot steel wool and a rag, of course. Okay, so the uh, replacement ignition module I got off of eBay basically looks like this um, here with the top down uh, and the way that it connects are with these two uh, bolts. Now I have seen ones for Viragos where they have a bolt hole right here as well. Uh, you just want to make sure that you are getting the correct ignition module for your bike. Um, they are not universal. They will mount up in different ways. Um, this one also has a little uh, receptacle to clamp in. Uh, my guess is it's gonna clamp in behind the headlight or inside the headlight. I'm gonna to have to take the headlight out. There's probably gonna be a mess of wires and within those wires will be a harness like this, hopefully. Um, the previous owner, don't know if you could see that, but the previous owner had actually hooked up a toggle switch uh, to turn it on. Ooh, can I turn it on here? To turn it on and to turn it off. Um, but we're gonna to try to put the ignition in right. So um, without any further ado, we're going to see what we can get into. I'm gonna do more of a, a point of view uh, to where we can see um, what's left, what the previous owner did or didn't do and uh, where we're at to be able to do all this, okay? So it seems as if uh, the previous owner, I don't know if he did me a favor or what, but pretty much busted out the old ignition. Um, as you can see, that piece of cast is still there, and that bottom part of the cast that you're seeing, that's that metal part that I was pointing to in the earlier point of the video showing that, uh, like for the Viragos, they have a screw or a bolt hole that goes through the back of them. Um, so I have to uh, take that off. It's looking like it's held here, and it's held here by those two bolts that are kind of like on the ears of the casting. Once I get that out, uh, that will physically move the um, what's left of that casting. But then, of course, I'm going to have to tear into the headlight to find the receptacle, unplug it to where I can plug the new one in. So the first thing that I like to do when it comes to 
working on these bikes, no matter if it's a screw, a bolt, or anything. Uh, this is 1981 that we're talking here, so you know these bolts have not been turned in a long time. It's good to get yourself some penetrating liquid. Uh, do it now rather than later, so you don't start stripping out screws and everything. I'm gonna have to take this headlight out. There are a couple set screws in here to be able to do that. I'm not gonna try to take the ring off, although I may have to. Um, I think this is just for an adjustment, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to try to actually take these ones out that are back here and hopefully this whole assembly comes out. But before I do that, I'm going to use a little bit of PB Blaster. Uh, you can use whatever penetrating liquid you prefer. WD-40 or whatever, liquid wrench. I just prefer to use that. Um, looks like those two are the only ones that may hold this rim, but you know what, I'm gonna hit these adjusters just in case, because you never know, you may have to do that as well. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes so that that can actually penetrate, and then uh, we will get to trying to tear this apart, okay? Okay, so that has been sitting for a couple of minutes, so now we're gonna try to take out these screws. Looks like it loosened them up pretty well, it's a Phillips screwdriver. It's important to make sure that you use a Phillips screwdriver that's the right tip. If you use one that's too small, you strip it. If you use one that's too big, you may strip it as well. So there's one of the screws. I'll take this other screw out. I might block the camera, and if I do, I apologize. They are rusty. Rusty and crusty for sure. Okay, so now I have them two screws out. I always look at the screws too because you never know um, what kind of weird things that vehicle manufacturers do. Um, I always check to make sure that they're the same length and that they're the same diameter just so that I know when I put them back in I'll be able to have them in uh, the right way that they're supposed to be in. So, took those two out. Let's see if these guts come out now. Yep, okay, so, um, got spider's nests and everything else, but let me show you the inside of this um, headlight unit. Okay, so now as you can see, the inside of the headlight unit, Ooh, you can see all those little wires and everything else. Um, so we're looking basically, got a feeling it's going to be this one, three wires, brown, black, and red. And let's see, that corresponds with, does that correspond with this one? Uh, there's a red, there's a brown, and there's a black. So it's more than likely going to be this one right here. So this is, this is going to be the, um, that's going to be the one that we're going to have to unhook and then hook the new one in probably go ahead and clean all these cobwebs and stuff out too and uh, all these dead bugs that are down there as well because I'm sure that they are uh, not doing this uh, headlight bucket any um, favors so I took my handy dandy air compressor and I blew all of the yuckiness out I also blew it off the back of the bulb as well I was looking up here and I don't know if you can see it uh, and you probably can't but up there um, is where the two bolts are uh, and it looks like I can get to them up in this direction they're actually they're right I'm gonna try to put my finger it's right up there if you can it's so hard to be able to see but right up here where my finger is um, that's where I have to try to get I think it's a 10 millimeter I'm gonna try and see if it's a 10 mil millimeter or not Okay, so um, I brought a few different 3 8 inch extensions. I got like this one. What's this little three incher? And I got a six incher. I got a couple six inches just because I don't know exactly um, how long I'll need it to get up there, or even if it will uh, work. I may have to look and see if I have one of those flexible ones. Uh, but for right now, we'll see. Okay.
Okay, so I tried with a couple of different sockets and I'm just not getting a bite. So I think, unfortunately, I think this bucket's going to have to come off uh, just so I can um, have more room to be able to get to it. So it's two 13 millimeter bolts here, one here, one on the other side. There's nuts on inside, so I'm going to have to use a 13 millimeter wrench too, I believe. It might be a little bit bigger. Um, then we'll take those off and... Uh, then we should be able to open up this whole front to be able to actually see what's going on in here now. Don't necessarily know if you need this step, maybe uh, someone else has an easier way. If you do, uh, please feel free to put it in the comments below. But for right now, I'm learning as I'm going. So let's take this bucket off and let's see if we can open her up a little bit, okay? Whenever I'm taking a bolt off that has multiple lock washers and snap washers and all that other stuff I always keep them on in order so we have lock washer we have this rubber brommet we have like this Bakelite brommet and that other part doesn't go in okay so uh, I'll show you what I mean when I get into the camera here So basically, put them all back together here. Here we go. I always try to keep them together so I know exactly how they'll go back on. So see, there's the lock washer. There's a little uh, black brommet. There's a little Bakelite uh, little thing, and then the bolt itself. So now we're gonna go and go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And this headlight assembly should pull forward, hopefully. Oh, we have one more. See right down here? I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a there's a screw right down there. Doesn't have a nut on the other side, Phillips screw. Um, some adjuster. Let's see, might have to obstruct the camera for a second just to get down here and see. Before I strip it, I didn't strip it from right there, but before I do, I'm gonna spray it down with some penetrating oil. Let it sit for a minute. Let's see if we can't get that off then. So I'm having a feeling that that uh, long shafted screwdriver just is gonna strip it. Um, so what I'm gonna do instead is have a Phillips bit here. See, it's got a nice big head on it. Um, this may actually be a GIS bit, I'm not sure. GIS bits are, they look like Phillips bits. They're, uh, a lot of times are used on uh, Japanese bikes. They look like Phillips, except the, um, they never come to a point. There's always that flat, flat part right at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Maybe I'll try to zoom in. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop that into a socket um, and then it's a quarter inch socket and then just put a quarter inch ratchet on it and see if I can't break it loose that way because I'm just afraid I'm going to strip it. There we go. It broke loose. This has a little washer in it as well. It said whatever. However we take it off is however it goes back on. That is the definitely the uh, number one plan. So now should be able to pull this bucket forward a little bit. There we go. And that exposes all of this that we need. Here, let me show you. Exposes all that now. As you can see, then we can get in there. That's what we need to do. So let's do it. Okay, so... Now we can at least have a little bit better of an understanding as to how that goes in there. You can definitely see the bolt now a lot better. Um, so let's find out what size it is. This right here is a 10. This is what I thought it was, but it sure felt like it was slipping. Yeah. 
It just feels like it slips. Unless it's unless it's really loose on there to begin with. I think that's exactly what it might be. It might be that the last person who put it on here didn't tighten it all the way. Because it's uh sure looks like it's coming out now. So I guess I was right and I ne didn't necessarily have to uh change that bucket or pull that bucket out. But hey, sometimes we don't know, right? First bolt. All right. Drop that right in my palm. And, okay, so this is what came out. So we want to make sure, so I'm not exactly sure if the new one will have it. See how this is pulling out? I, just, I think the, the new one it will be fine, but I just want to make sure. So we're going to compare. Old one, new one. Okay, so I disconnected the old wire, the harness. You basically just have to push this tab. See that tab right there? Just push that tab down where my finger is. It's in the socket, push it in, and then it pops apart. So we're gonna feed this new one through. Well, you know what? I don't like that idea. Let's seed it first. Now, I think I'm going to put it around the bottom side, just because that way it won't kink up against anything else. There we go. Pull it through like that. Make sure you're threading it through. Probably going to be a tight fit to get it up and around. Like that. Make sure that you want to make sure that you're not pinching any other cables or anything, because of course there's a there's always a mess of stuff around here. So you got to move them, move them with your fingers, just to make sure that everything's lining up like it should. pretty good right there so now the fun part the fun part is always when you're in a tight space trying to get these bolts to go back in right hopefully we can get them started with our fingers and then tighten them up with a ratchet Oh, might have to put on the old man glasses for this. I'm gonna make sure two nuts get too excited and just try to crank down on them. You might cross thread them. You definitely don't want to cross thread these. Uh, it would be such a pain in the butt to try to uh, cut new threads. You have to take a whole bunch of stuff apart. This does not sound like fun. But we're getting there. All right, that side's at least, it's on loosely, but it's on. So then we will take our 10 millimeter socket, which is, oh, that's a 13. Take our 10 millimeter socket, which is right here. And what you wanna do, or at least what I always do, I never crank one down and then crank the other down uh, just because it's cast. The cast isn't gonna be flexible. Remember, it isn't gonna bend, it's gonna crack. Uh, so we just want to do one end, then do another end, then snug up this side, then snug up that side. See what I'm saying? So it doesn't sit crooked. So old man glasses are going back on. Get this ratchet up in here. There we are. 
Then we want to make sure that we hook these two ends of the connectors up. There we go. So once it's in, it snaps into place. So now we have to put the bucket back on. Remember, we just put the bucket on in reverse of what we just did. Um, so first I'm going to start with uh, this little one right here. Remember, that's the one that we ended up using the uh, JIS bit on. So a lot of time with these old bikes, um, you know, they're 20, 30, 40 years old. You get rust, surface rust all around here. And if I were to put everything back together right now, it'd probably be a little bit difficult to clean it. Uh, so I'm going to hit it. Um, I'm going to show you a trick of what I use with Chrome. And I'm sure a lot of others already know this, but you may not. So, uh, yeah, sorry that I'm clickbaiting a little bit and adding something, but let me show you something. Okay, so I am just going to use a little bit of quadruple ot, so 0000 steel wool. And I use a little bit of penetrating liquid as a lubricant. I spray a little bit on there. And then any of the rust sections, see like that? I just want to hit it really quick. Anywhere where it's going to kind of be a pain in the butt for me to hit once the bez or once the bucket is back on, let's just go ahead and take care of that now, right? I mean, it just makes sense. You know, my dad used to always say, uh, work smarter, not harder. So, you go ahead and hit it all the way around. And I mean, it's really up to you how in depth you want to do it if you really don't care about it, but I try to, you know, I'm trying to bring some new life back into these old bikes, so I'd like to be able to at least get some of this rust off and this rust around this bolt, just uh, but you can see how that steel wool just cleans it up really well. Okay, let me get a rag. Got a rag to wipe it down really quick. There we go. See, you can still see a little bit right there. So let's take care of that. It's not going to be perfect, but, you know, just taking a few minutes and doing something like this. I don't know. Another thing, another thing my dad used to always say is, you know, show, show pride in your work. You know, um, if you're, if you're going to do something, do it right. Show pride in your work. Uh, you may not necessarily know what you're doing, just like I don't necessarily know what I'm doing uh, here. This is just uh, shooting from the hip, and I like doing it like this kind of gorilla style uh, restoration. Uh, but yeah, just take a couple of minutes and be able to forecast a little bit. Hey, how can, am I going to be able to get in there once this is all put together? I'm not. Well, then maybe I should take a moment and maybe I should clean this up a little bit so that I won't have to tear it apart later. So. But luckily for you guys, I can just cut a lot of this out, cut in piece, and before you know it. All right, everybody, so there we go. We have the headlight back in. Now uh, let me do a quick point of view so that you can see uh, what it looks like on the other side of the handlebars. You can see, there it is. We put the key in, turn it on. I don't know if you can see, but that I swear that the uh, neutral light is coming on. See it? So it is definitely working guys okay all right guys so that's it for the video i hope that you learned something i know that i did if you found any of this informative i please implore you to click that like click that subscribe and comment down below let me know what i did right what i did wrong i'm really trying to play with the youtube algorithm now and i need your help please feel free to share this video with anyone as well thank you